Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading. Uh, this is for the week of July 22nd through the 28th. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, this is a message from my guides to you, okay? So this reading is not going to be like anybody else's. and It never is. This is a message from my guides, okay? This is my messages come from not the cards. I mean, I use the cards as a tool, but my messages come from my guides, okay? So anyway, um, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. You should be watching the reading here on my channel. Um, timing is fluid, but we are intending this to be for July 22nd through the 28th. Keep in mind, the minute you watch it, it may not resonate because these are previews. A lot of people don't get that. Or they think the minute they watch it, oh, that didn't resonate. Well, it's a preview. So let's see what comes up. What do we have for Virgo? And again, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. What do we have for Virgo? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe for the week of the 22nd. You know, I think you guys are starting with a clean slate. It's like starting fresh, starting from the very beginning. Ooh, deceit, deceit, deception. It could be the end of deception. I mean, it did come out reversed. I'm not going to keep it reversed because I don't intend for any of these cards really to be reversed, but it did come out reversed, so... It could be the, I really think it is. I think it's the end of deception. It's the end of, perhaps, maybe it's the end of lying to yourself. Maybe it's the end of dealing with a deceptive individual. Whatever the case is. Um, it's like it's the final curtain call. I don't know who that's for, what it means, but that's what just came out of my mouth. Okay. I trust, I trust what, whatever comes out, comes out. Um, yeah, let's get one of these. There's definitely been some deception. All is, all is not as it seems or it hasn't been, but I really feel like it's the end. I do. You could have somebody that comes into your life during this period that is deceptive. So be really careful. They may not, you know, be showing you their truth beware beware this person may be ruled by their ego you think look at all the red there they may be very controlling um they may not be showing you all their cards just be careful you 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 could have somebody that comes into your life that is deceptive love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive that's a message you need to hear now isn't it Love yourself first. Don't deceive yourself. If you don't love yourself, then, you know, don't expect to get somebody who's really going to love you because if you, you have to love yourself. It's one of your life lessons. Everybody has this lesson that needs to be learned. It's one of them. So let's get one of these for Virgo. What do we have for Virgo? Rainbow blessings. Blessings are showering your life. Now, rainbow is a symbol of peace. There's also, it's like, the, you know, there's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. But you have to experience the rain first, right? It has to rain. It does. So, there's, there's some sort of, it's almost like stormy weather, right? Oh, I just heard that song somewhere over the rainbow somewhere over the rainbow blessings are showering your life we're gonna go ahead and read that one there's a wish a wish anyway 
blessings in all forms are cascading into your life just as the rainbow has all the colors of the spectrum so is every hue of your life blessed this is a great time to start a project initiate a relationship purchase a home begin a health program start a new job or change careers let go of hesitations and concerns whatever you dream of for your future this is the time to start you will succeed when the rainbow appears in the sky above or in the Oracle deck you have faith that blessings are coming count your blessings be grateful for the ones received and know that many lie ahead for you in the deepest sense you are the blessing in many ways the rainbow is a messenger from the Creator letting you know that all is well this card can also indicate that it's time to add some color to your life paint a room change the colors of your curtains or simply spice up your life all is well all is well what do we got for Virgo very attractive your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive something is coming a blessing is coming the end of pain this is letting go of the past hurts letting go of the past letting go of the pain this is forgiveness king of swords you could be dealing with a libra gemini aquarius this is standing in your power this is making a decision and sticking to it this person could be coming into your life if it's not you this person is very authoritative this person is very determined this person is very mature this person is very wise intelligent this person could be um he could be a director this person could be a director this person could be um a police officer a uh, corrections person you know somebody who protects he protects he's a protector of some sort you know he works in that kind of field he could be a lawyer this guy is very intelligent he's very intellectual he does investigations you know he investigates things he's very logical um if this person could be coming into your life oh we got two temperance and the four of wands so things are about to you're but you're going through some sort of transition you have it's like you've called in a soulmate this is alchemy and this is like a soulmate the time is now something that you have been waiting for this is your blessing as well a blessing is coming Virgo this could be somebody that is coming to help you this person is very protective he is a protector knight of swords and when he comes he is coming quick he is gonna come quick he's gonna rush right into your life he might help you to heal this is healing this could this could uh, you may meet if you haven't met this person yet you may meet him at a celebration this is a celebration an upcoming celebration where you run into this person you may have known this person before and maybe they've changed a lot there's some pain here this person may help you to heal from some sort of pain high priestess silence a solid fresh start you got a fresh start here but there's some tension there's some sort of reluctance nine of coins because of your independence so very self-sufficient very well put together we have somebody here that has really done a lot of work we have a very hard worker here that has worked hard to deal with their drama to deal with their past to deal with their pain Ooh, four of swords this is the death death of an idea there could be something that has ended in your life I mean that is like a death okay something that has ended and there's here he comes there's that knight of swords right there in that card 
here he comes. You may not you you may see this person before he comes in your dreams and your meditations. You may you may um, get this vision of somebody arriving and there and then he arrives. Okay. Um, now this is the the four of swords is a death of an idea. It's the death of something. It is. It is. So I feel as you, as you let something go, something new just. <laughs> pops right into your life like out of the blue but there's there's reluctance here there's reluctance because you 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 have done a lot of healing you've done a lot of inner work you've changed you're not the same person that you used to be you've been working on bringing balance to your life you've been through a major transformation you've been through a transition now you have somebody like flying into your life that you know it's pretty exciting it is pretty exciting i think that you you probably do see this coming or you saw it coming or you knew this was going to come but there's there's conflict over giving up your independence there's conflict over um getting getting into something with somebody coming together with somebody if you are in a coupled relationship now you may be deciding to go your own way you may be uh deciding that you're ready for a change you know because that's this is a change it is a major change right here it's a major change i feel as though somebody is becoming independent they're just they're just taking that step out of a commitment and they're becoming independent and they're they're making a, a decision and they're making it very quickly it's an impulsive not impulsive it's it's been well thought out because of these swords swords are well thought out so i think it has been a well thought out decision there's no the only impulsiveness is right here but that's not really impulsive that's well it can be we're, but we're going with the cards around it this right here is we have uh i know and this is you in meditation in meditation or in your thoughts or in your dreams or in your you know in within within it's like you know you know that there's somebody else and you know this person is coming and I think this person is coming so somebody is somebody is arriving if especially if you're single if you are single and you have done a lot of healing and you have evolved and you have allowed and you have surrendered you know you have a new commitment coming into your life if you are single if you are this person is this is letting go of the past hurts for those and some of you are just because this is for so many people some of you are just barely letting go you're bit just barely letting go of that past you have forgiven the past and for those of you that have forgiven and taken your time out taking your time within to to gather and to reflect and to harness your inner power I think we have somebody that is 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 rushing into your life it's like this is a major change for you there's a there's a major new beginning here I think that you're ready I think that you've done your work for the, for those of you that have taken the time out to heal and to go within and to reflect there's a new new person coming into your life and it's like they just pop right in they just show up and it's it is exciting it is very exciting i think it's the end of loneliness for some of you um there's a major change here there is that the time is now the time is now but i do see the conflict i see the the struggle with this change the struggle with perhaps you know either going your own way or getting into a new commitment there's there's a there's a feeling of uneasiness about starting over but i feel like we do have somebody here that is probably going to take a leap of faith it's like they've been divinely guided seriously they've been divinely guided that this is it this is it so i feel as though you you you're probably if if you're single you're probably going to meet somebody spontaneously at some sort of get together this could be a soulmate the time is now to come together this person is most likely I believe an air sign I believe it's a it's a Libra Gemini or an Aquarius it could be an Aries it could be a Sagittarius it could be anybody else it, it could be it could be a, an earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn it could be anybody but whoever this person is that is coming into your life I think they are very intuitive as well 
Uh, I think you are very intuitive. I think that um, this person is, is ready. I think that you both are. I think both of you could be a Pisces. I think that uh, there's no more. It's the end of stagnation. It's the end of waiting around. I think that your, your waiting is over if you are single. If you are in a coupled relationship, I feel as though you probably have an exciting new opportunity that may help you to get unstuck from something that, you know, has stolen your energy, made you feel empty and lost inside. This is, you know, we could, we could go all day and I could change this up a million times. Ten of coins reversed. For those of you that are coupled, this could be somebody moving out of your home. The time is now for a change. You know, this is a major change either way. Couples or singles. We have a major change here. Things are about to change. Things are about to change. And this has to do with happiness. It has to do with foundations. It has to do with either becoming single or becoming partnered. You know, it's, 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 it could go either way. Um, this is getting unstuck. Um, no longer sacrificing yourself. No more waiting around. I think it's the end of waiting. There you are. There you are. It's like you don't even have to do anything. This person is coming after you. I feel as though um, you may feel like you don't have anything to offer. You may feel like you got to work right now. You don't have time for this, you know, because nine of coins minus one coin. She's got one coin in her hand. It's the eight of coins. Work, 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 work. You may be burying yourself in your work to, you know, to hide your true feelings or because you're lonely or whatever to bide your time or whatever. And this person just, just rushes right into your life and changes everything. So we have a major change coming. Um, it may shake up your foundation, you know, your home life may get shaken up because of this. Um, it's the end of suffering. This is the end of suffering in alone. Maybe you, you, you've been burying yourself, you know, you've been working on your spiritual journey. You've been harnessing your own inner powers and, and you saw this coming. You just didn't know when it was going to come and here it is. Seven of Swords, be careful. This is Seven of Swords reverses. Be careful. Something is about to be revealed. Um, and again, this is the end of deception, the end of betrayal. The truth is about to come out about stability, about security. Somebody's leaving. If you are in a couple relationship, there is some sort of decep deception that is about to be revealed. If somebody's been cheating or somebody's been thinking about cheating or whatever. The truth is going to be come out. There's, there could be a conflict that causes the truth to come out and break somebody free. Okay, if you're in a couple relationship. Um, but I see breaking free from loneliness here. Okay, so either way, this is breaking free from loneliness. Um, somebody has been reluctant to move on. They've been reluctant to take a new approach. But this is the, the wheel of fate, the wheel of change. It's time. Destined change, of course. Destiny here. This is a faded change. The wheel is spinning in your favor, and they are, this is a reward. They are bringing, this is, this is, this is the wheel of fortune. Fortune is a reward. So it's like they're bringing you an opportunity you are about to receive something it's time it's time it's time it's time for you to receive your reward whatever that is so be prepared Virgo your life is about to change destiny one chapter is ending and a new chapter is beginning you might have to sacrifice some of your work time for a partnership. I mean, that's what I got. So I feel like you ha definitely have some blessings that are coming into your life. I think that you probably saw it coming. You know it's coming. And <laughs> here it is. Here it is. I feel like you've been burying yourself in your job. And this person that is coming 
is basically going to open up open up your possibility they're going to open up your world you know what i mean this is a major change with the temperance card you're going to have to make some compromises so be prepared this is good this is good luck whatever is happening is bringing you something very 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 good it's a change of course good luck